Well, hello, I thought I'd show you the leather press that I've been making and you've probably seen me working on this in the welding video amongst other videos. Anyway, I'm very pleased with the way it's worked out. It's actually here beside me. I'll show you a bit more carefully in just a minute. But um, just perhaps to explain first of all why I was wanting to build this leather press. And essentially it's going to be a fairly light duty press. Uh, if I were to go for a full clicker press they weigh so much my workshop couldn't take it I don't think I'd be able to lift it down to my workshop I mean they you need a forklift truck and they weigh an absolute ton I want to be able to cut out small leather shapes so the sorts of things that I want to cut out are um, like the buckle loops on bags or the handles on bags they're not particularly large items one of the things I do cut out quite a lot are these uh, Bucklehurst acorns and I put my stamp on these a little tab on uh, attach them to bags so I do have what's called a clicker cutter a little cookie cutter which um, essentially I provided some uh, artwork and then they pop it into a computer and they make these little cookie cutters it's all very clever high-tech CNC cut stuff so it's an acrylic sheet and the little cookie cutter it's there and it's got a very sharp edge on it so it's a steel rule die knife basically and the idea is you press that into the lever and it cuts it so you get the hole <laughs> and you get the item you want cut so that's what the press is for fairly sort of light duty sort of stuff I have estimated its pressure is something getting close to about five tons but it's only a crude estimation and it seems very effective indeed so let me perhaps show you a little bit more with the actual press so this is the press itself it's got a very long handle which you pull down and it works like a cantilever and then you've got this plunging unit and as you press down with that lever you press onto the cutting mat and that's really all there is to it it's not exactly high tech or complicated but it does seem to work quite well the actual construction it's all pretty heavy duty sort of gauge plate and it's on a sort of couple of girders as well but let me actually just show you if i take a piece of leather so i've got this remnant here i'll take my clicker cutter pop it on the bit of leather and then put it roughly central then as I pull down on the lever you'll see it needs quite a bit of force oops I don't know if I can do this holding a camera at the same time but let me have a go I had a click so I think that's worked lift it up quite hard doing it one-handed actually normally i'd be able to swing on it but so then you take your cutter out there we are and you're left with the hole and then on the actual clicker cutter itself is the lever so you have the leather shape which comes out really rather well so this one obviously is quite a small item and it's a lot easier to do smaller items i do want to do some bag handles and such like so they will be larger but i'll be able to move them along the cutting board do press down press down press down and get a nice accurate cut and this is the thing about it really the, the beauty of it is you get absolute precision and it makes your goods look so much more professional and nice and it's obviously fairly quick as well so it's really it's a lot of setting up time but it is a win-win when you get it so that's the the press uh, seems as i say work pretty well all in all so what i'm going to do next i'm going to draw up some more um, plans or outlines for cutters that I want and I'll probably send those off and get a, 
a die making company to make them for me. So I've got a nice selection. Anyway, hope you enjoy seeing that. I will, I think, probably make some plans of this press. So if you think you might be interested in the plans, they'll be at the usual incredibly cheap Bucklehurst rates. I'll um, probably pop something up, but it will take me a day or two to draw up some plans. So I'll see if people are interested. I'll have a think about making up some plans. And um, well, yeah, any questions, just ask below. So thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.